The individual stat sheet is the repository for all the calculations that are made in this spreadsheet. Going to the sheet, you can see that it contains a lot of data. To start off with, we have basic information, which is the position, whether or not the player is a starter or a bench player, their name in different formats, how many years of experience they have, what team they currently play for, their value, which is their ranking multiplied by the value that we gave them for their position uh, back on the input sheet. This is where that 2.5 and 2 values come from. And their ranking, which is based off of their projected, projected stats and where they rank in their projected stats. This ranking value takes into consideration all of the different categories and if we had made any adjustments to each category, as we showed earlier. Moving to the next set of data, we show you the projection rankings. So once again, we show here that a higher number is better, and we take the field goal percentage rank, and what we do is we actually multiply it by what the value was. That's why a 1.0 number gets a standard rank value if we want to get a higher value, that comes out to be a 2.0. Or 2.0 means we double what this actual ranking value is. Next set of columns, and you can see there's a lot of data in here, so <laughs> it takes a little bit to, to scroll through there. Uh, the next set of data is their actual projected statistics uh, for this coming year. This takes into account uh, what you were, what you chose uh, down here in the weighting projection. So for example, on a particular player it takes 40% of last year, 10% the last or two years ago, and then 50% is the Fantasy Sports Garage projections. It comes up with a number and this is what you project each at each position or each category this player will do. Now remember that we only rank what we actually chose to rank uh, from the input sheet, right? So games played is zero. You can see under the individual stats, games played ranking is zero because we're not scoring it. However, we do generate a projected statistic based on uh, what our projection weightings are. The rest of the data is simply from previous years. So there's 2006, 2007. And we have 2005, 2006, and we go back four years uh, near, the, near the tail end. We have the Fantasy Sports Garage projections. So this is what the Fantasy Sports Garage is projecting for each player. I have a section set up for a second site. I don't presume to know everything. So I, I would like and encourage you to go off and get other sites. And at the tail end I give a, a small biography. So uh, currently what their height, what their weight was, I think it's at the end of last season, uh, what their date of birth was, what college they went to, uh, what number they they wear, and what uh, team they played for last year. Next let's move on to uh, the overall ranking sheet. So you can see how all this information is correlated into something that makes sense for you.